Well, the people, the people started calling me godly before I called myself that. At first, I used to feel like, man, that's some big shoes to fill to call myself godly. But shit, throughout my journey, I, I embraced the name, you know? So I'm godly, Mr. 222. Always on a on a path trying to stay aligned, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I might veer off, but that two 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 just keep me keep me on track, so it's godly two two two. I think like they always like the homies would say I had like a godly aura about myself, you know the way I carry myself, even like, you know, in some of the not so godly, not so spiritual environments, I still kind of like walk with that that godly swag, you know, that, that king type of demeanor. So yeah, and I used to like have my head wrapped. I used to be on my turban, my turban vibes, you know, so like that's really where it came from. It was just the energy that, that they said I, I possess, you know, so yeah. Um, I think it definitely comes out in the way that I treat people, you know? Like, I just, all, I, I got respect for everybody, no matter what kind of lifestyle they live in. Like, if our lifestyle don't align, and we on two opposite sides of, like, you know, like our interests or spiritual beliefs or whatever, like, I just got respect for everybody, you know? And I feel like that's like how I see the God or the goddess in everybody, you know? So like, I feel like that's how I carry myself and that's how I view other people. Even if they doing like ungodly things, cause none of us is perfect. We all just kind of navigating. We all trying to figure it out. So like, I feel like I see the God in everybody. I don't know, to be honest. I think I just make the music. I just speak, the, the beat come on, and I just start speaking. And people that hear my music, they might take it a certain way, or they might hear a certain message in the music, and they might receive it like that, you know? So like when I'm making music, like I'm not even going in and thinking about like, oh, I wanna, like say the most like relatable stuff or wanna inspire people. Like I'm just saying how I feel in that moment and I'm just recording it, you know? And however the people receive it, if they download that message and it make them feel good or inspire them, like that's 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 the goal, you know, like that's that's flattering. But like music just really my therapy, you know? It's just something I do to express myself and like sometimes I can't articulate it in a conversation. So the music, the beats and the vibes is how I like let that out, you know? Other than music, like one way that I love to express myself is food and fashion like but i'm gonna start with food first though i like to express myself with food meaning like i like to cook food you know what i'm saying i cook all different type of stuff coming from new orleans i know how to make like creole type food cajun food you know jambalaya red beans i could fry pretty much anything i'm like a fry cook king you know what i'm saying and uh outside of food fashion like i'm not even like big on like high fashion super designer i might have like one little designer piece but i could go thrifting find some cool stuff you know i could target got some fire stuff you know like i could just mix and match it and and, and put that shit on with, with the fashion too you know so that's two ways that like, other than music, I feel like I express myself, like my individuality type shit. Um, that's a good question. Uh, as far as like other artists that I, like musically, 
I would say for sure it's other artists that I feel like I picked up on they on they vibe. Um, Music Soul Child, he was a big inspiration. Music Soul Child, D'Angelo, um, Erica Badu. On the on the on the rap side, I gotta go Lil Wayne. I gotta go Currency. Um, juvenile and that's not being biased just like New Orleans people you know what I'm saying but like that was just what I would play the most like that's the artist that I but yeah music wise a lot of the artists that inspired me was Music Soul Child, D'Angelo, Erica Badu, Bob Marley, rap, rap changes every couple of years, you know? Like, I like Gunna, I like Thug, um, you know, Drake, Travis Scott, a lot of, you know, the, the, the mainstream rappers, I was inspired by them, but um, fashion, I just got my own style. I don't copy nobody's style with, with the fashion. Like, I might see a little piece, just really, no lie, I think I get my fashion inspiration from people on the street. I might see a nigga and be like, man, like, them pants fire. Uh, the way bro got his locks, it's fire. So, and I might, I might take that and, 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 you know, add my own little twist to that. So, yeah. Uh, I come from New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? New Orleans is in Louisiana, but we kind of just like, you know, it's New Orleans and then it's Louisiana, but shout out Louisiana, because I, I spent some time in uh, Baton Rouge too, you know, like at the Katrina. But yeah, um, like growing up in New Orleans, it was, uh, it was some challenges, you know, but I really don't like when I see a lot of like New Orleans celebrities and stuff just kind of downplayed New Orleans when they talk about it. I think it was fun growing up in New Orleans. It's no other city like New Orleans when it comes to like our culture, our swag, you know, the way that we carry ourselves, you know. And um, it was for sure challenging with the crime, being like face to face with a lot of that, you know, the violence. Like, I witnessed a lot of that growing up, just being in certain environments, you know. It was just part of the reality growing up out there. Like, like murder and, and crime is just an everyday thing out there. It's just it's, it's part of it, you know. But I just take the good with the bad, you know. So growing up in New Orleans, to me, man, I wouldn't trade it for nothing. Going through Katrina, it was it was like a surreal type of experience. Like it felt like it wasn't real. Me and my family, like we left the night before. So I wasn't in the city when it happened. We was on the way to Houston. And um we was at the hotel and we seen it on the news. Like we saw the city underwater and stuff. And like I seen like one of my cousins or something on TV, like they was on a boat. And that's when they was like, damn, like this shit, this shit real. Like, you know, like my city underwater, like my home, you know? But just looking at it on the TV, it didn't seem real. Like I wasn't there. So I can't really say, that's what I mean. Like it didn't feel like reality. Cause I seen it on TV. We left the day before, but like, we lost everything. We lost our home. We we didn't move back for like a couple of years, you know. So it was crazy to like start my whole life all over. All of my friends and all that were like never seen some of them since then, you know. So yeah, that was it was crazy. But on the flip side, we moved to Texas and like just moving around, experiencing like other other cultures, 
because I thought I was going to live in New Orleans my whole life. So, like, being in other cities kind of expanded my mind on, like, just other lifestyles, you know? So I think me being, me being grown now and being able to travel and connect with people all over the world, I think partially because, it's like, Katrina happened and, like, I was forced to travel. I was forced to connect with other people, you know? So, you know, it's kind of like a gift and a curse, you know? Yeah. Three, three ways I would describe myself. It, it feel crazy, like, describing myself, you know? But um, I would say experimental with music. I'm, I'm always trying to challenge myself and, like, singing, rapping, trying out different genres, so experimental for sure. Soulful. I, I make my music from the soul. It come from the heart, you know what I'm saying? And the last way I would describe Godly would be vibrant. I'm, I'm just exuding that vibration. I just want people to feel like uplifted, you know, I want them to feel lighter when they hear my music, like, I got some song that's more on a heavier, heavier vibe, but like, most, mostly, like, I just want people to feel uplifted, I want them to feel lighter when they listen to my music, so, experimental, soulful, and vibrant, that's Godly 222, yeah. What inspired me to do music? would have to be, like, would inspire me to want to be a rapper, I would have to say Cash Money, like Lil Wayne, and, like, growing up in New Orleans, and, like, they was, like, the biggest shit, you know? And we, that's the type of people, we would see them. But they, we see them in real life, and you see them on, like, BET and shit. So, like, Cash Money made me want to be a rapper. But I think like the music that I grew up around, like the music my mama played, my grandma, it was like jazz music, neo soul, R&B. That kind of inspired the more musical side of me, you know? So like, I would give it like half and half. Cause like, if you listen to my music, it's half and half. I got a little bit of the rap, vibe, you know, I could bar up, I could come with some bars, but then I got my more musical, more soulful side, more jazzy vibe, and that come from just the music that my grandma and my mom and them used to play. So that really like all bottled up and it became like me. Yeah. Uh, I would say moments that I would never forget in my music career. I'm still looking for that big moment. I feel like I ain't even touched, I ain't even scratched the surface of like, wow, I really wanna, like, the, the heights that I'm really trying to reach. But like, just looking back on the journey, I'm grateful for like, my hometown, the support that like, my city gave me. Cause like, in New Orleans, like, it's tough. It's, if you're not making like bounce music, if you're not making like a certain type of sound, it's tough to like get the city to like rock with you. But one memorable moment would have to be, um, I had this event in New Orleans called The Kickback that I would do every month. And like, it just started getting bigger and bigger. And it just became like, I looked at it like it's a staple in, in the city, like in the community, you know? So to like be rapping my songs and like to look out and see people like singing the words of like some shit I put out on SoundCloud or I put it out on YouTube, you know, and the look in the crowd and people like singing it back to me. That's like, that's the most memorable, like that's the most memorable shit. Like that's something I could never forget. And that's something that like keep me going, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, as an artist, every day is a challenge. Just like, for one, trying to stay motivated when like, 
you haven't really felt like I feel like I haven't got that big break yet. I haven't got that that big opportunity that I feel like I deserve. So staying motivated every day, wanting to still do this music thing is uh, one of the bigger challenges. And I think um, like in this day and age, you gotta be you gotta be the artist. You gotta be the marketer. You gotta be the graphic designer. You gotta be like all of those things this day and age. Well, like back in the day, you just had to focus on making music and that's all you really had to, like just perfect music. Now, you gotta be a musician. You gotta be a scientist in the booth. Like you gotta damn that know how to mix and master if you, you know, if you ain't got the budget. And you gotta be a marketing genius and use social media to promote yourself. So that's one of the bigger challenges, but I just, I'm learning how to navigate and I'm learning how to kind of wear both hats, you know? I'm always working on projects, man. I'm always thinking about new ways to like connect with people. I'm constantly evolving, so I'm always working on a project, you know. But right now in particular, uh, I got a project, it's called Transitions, Volume 2. It's the second uh, installment of my transitions, like just my, my transitions thing that I'm going through. I'm going through a transition in life, so I'm just documenting that transition in the music. So right now it's Transitions Volume 2. I'm on my journey right now. I just moved to LA, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like exploring this new place, connecting with new people, you know? And I'm just constantly in transit. I'm constantly just moving, you know? So right now it's Transitions Volume 2. And I really just can't wait to share it. You know, I can't wait for y'all to hear it. I can't wait for the people to like, you know, connect with it and, and let me know how they feel about it. So that's that's what I'm on right now. I'm just in transition right now. What people can expect from my new project is me evolving right before their eyes, me experimenting with sounds that you may have never heard from me before. You probably haven't heard me open up on a track and talk about relationship stuff, talk about just things that's happening in life, you know? So that's what they could expect. They could expect like me being open. I'm not just always bragging on a song. I'm not always just saying how I'm the coolest and the flyest nigga in the world, you know? I just damn near be showing humility, showing that like I'm a human, that like, I'm going through shit, I'm, I'm sad or like I'm happy, I'm nervous. They could, they could hear all that in the music, you know? Chicken wings or tofu? That's like an obvious question, cause I don't eat chicken no more. But like tofu, if you don't season that shit right, if you don't cook it right, I'll go with the chicken wings and I'll just give it to one of the homies or something. So, but I'm gonna go with tofu though, you know. It's obvious, you know what I'm saying? Fried tofu though, it gotta be fried, yeah. Martin, the Martin Show or the Jamie Foxx Show? Martin! Or a Fresh Prince of bel Oh, we going Fresh Prince. We going Fresh Prince all day, you know what I'm saying? My dog Will, Carlton, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we going Fresh Prince. Shout out Uncle Phil. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil, too. Fans or Air Force Ones? Fans. On my skater shit, you feel me? I can't really even skate, but if I was, if I was skating, I would rock some Vans. I don't really even own no pair of G-Nikes. We call them G-Nikes. I don't even own a pair of those, so I'm rocking with the Vans. 
bowls or dickies? Dickies. Dickies with the crease, with the cell phone pocket, all day. Football or basketball? Football. I'm a, I'm a real football fan. I used to play football, y'all ain't know that. I played football and I was a dog. I could have went D1, but I, I wanted to make music. So yeah, football, man. If I had to choose between Cheesecake Factory and Red Lobster, we gonna go to uh, we gonna go to Cheesecake Factory. I like cheesecake, so yeah, we could get a little, you know, a little pasta or something, and then after that, you know, get that little cheesecake. So yeah, we going to Cheesecake Factory. Fuck all that. The beach or the forest? That's a good one. That's a good one for sure. But we going to that beach. We gonna we gonna kick, we gonna kick back, you know. Toes in the sand, catch a little vibe, you know, hear the waves crashing and yeah, so we gonna we gonna go to that beach. Right now my top three food choices. Number one, Ethiopian food. I love that injera, that injera you dig with the with the the red lentils with the veggies, I get that veggie platter. Anywhere I go, if I go to eat the open spot, I'm getting that veggie sampler. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 top tier. Number two, we gotta go Thai food. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go with the yellow curry, the pad Thai, or you get the um the pad siu, the pad kima. Don't get me started on that Thai food, you know, cause that's that's my shit. And number three, you know I'm from New Orleans. Yeah, I don't really eat meat like that no more, but I'm going with the Cajun food. I'm going with the jambalaya. Going with the fried seafood. Going with the red beans and rice. Like that's just, or the gumbo. They got some fire vegan gumbo recipes. And you know, Regular gumbo, you know what I'm saying? You can mix your seafood with the sausages and all that. That's that's fire too. So Cajun food, I'm gonna have to go number three because I ate that my whole life. So like when I grew up, I wanted to try like different stuff, you know? So yeah, that's my top three right there. I do. I'm a, I'm I'm just in, I'm just as good in that kitchen as I am in that boot. I could whip up some food, I ain't gonna cap. Like, whatever it is, I be trying stuff. And when I try something, it's gonna be fire. I'm, I'm nice in that kitchen. Outside of music, I like, I like being in nature. Like we, like we are right now. I like being outside, tapping in with, you know, with the trees and the, and the birds and you know just just kind of getting grounded I'm I'm getting on my fitness journey working out getting you know getting swollen and shit so I would say being in nature and like fitness that's two things that I'm like falling in love with outside of music Well, I would say being in nature is a way of relaxing for me. Like, it's a way to unplug. Like, when I'm outside, I don't even really want to be on my phone, you know? If I'm, like, if I'm in nature, it don't make no sense to be, like, on the gram and stuff because it's like, what's the point? Like, I'm trying to unplug. I'm trying to get away from all of that, you know? So I would say being in nature is a way for me to unplug or, like, relax. I would say getting in the gym or like even if I'm not in the gym, if I'm like just doing calisthenics or something at the crib, that's the opposite of relaxing. That's like getting the blood flowing. Like it's kind of getting me pumped up. It's getting me motivated. That's like to make some, like it's like the same motivation that I would use to make music. I use that motivation to work out. I think about my future. I think about the goals I'm trying to reach. 
and it's like I gotta pump iron, I gotta do these push-ups or something to like feel like I'm I'm reaching, I'm getting closer to that goal, you know. So that's kind of that's how I look at it. You could definitely expect me to keep expressing myself. That's something that I'm gonna constantly always do. I'm gonna always find new ways to express myself, to release any kind of like built up tension or any kind of emotions that I feel like need to just let, I need to let out. So y'all can always expect me to continue to express myself unapologetically, whether that's through music, whether that's through art, fashion, whether that's just me cracking a joke about some shit. Like, I'm just gonna always find a way to like make light of any like bad thing that's going on in my life, you know? And even the good stuff, I'm gonna find a way to like share that, you know, and bottle up that good feeling so that somebody else can feel it too. So that's something that you can always expect from me. I'm constantly going through life. I'm constantly learning things. I'm constantly learning things about myself. You know, I'm, I'm definitely not a fan of repeating the same cycles. I'm always trying to find a way to break cycles, break generational curses, you know? So you can always expect me to just continue to stay on this path continue to inspire people, continue to make my, my people proud, make my mama proud, my community, you know what I'm saying, to be a reflection. And yeah, man, just, just more vibes, just more energy, you know, that I'm, that I'm sharing. And constantly in transition, constantly moving.